What's up everyone and welcome back to Realize Television. Today, word on the street is that Gary is actually going to be doing a little bit of work on his car. We're going to snoop around and find out what he's up to. Ugh. Got the guard dogs. Hey Mushu. Hey Mushu. How you doing buddy? How you doing? No, it's not for you. I can't go anywhere. What is it? What is, no, that's not for you. It's a microphone Mushu. You can't have that. Oh, Gary! Ah. What's going on around here? Oh. <laughs> Who let you in? What? I let myself in. To be fair, Mushu tried to block me, but he's not fierce enough. He did a terrible job. He did a pretty terrible job. How's this air compressor for your, for your audio? Oh, it's great. I'm sure, I'm sure the viewers <laughs> love it. What you got here? Stock S13 rear uprights. I currently have Z32 aluminum ones in the car that are old and worn out. The lower taper is uh, oval on my oh. Z32s. Oh, how, how nice. So we're going back to stock S13. Like a downgrade upgrade. Yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, well, pretty. Kinda. Rust-Oleum. You ever watch those cooking shows where they spend 20 minutes prepping? And then three seconds later, they pull the finished product. <laughs> That's this channel. <laughs> Let's prep this guy. This is my paint booth here. I see that you have a custom installed. Or it's all organic. Hanging stud. I've had this paint booth for about 20 years. It's never let me down. Yeah, I can see that. Pull the car in and uh, take it apart. Let's do it. I'm done. That's it for the day? Yeah. yeah like and subscribe. I was gonna make a Fast and the Furious joke, but I think it's already played out. This is actually the first time I've really looked at the car since maybe circuit spirit when I blew up that fender and that side skirt. Your car's looking pretty haggard, man. Yeah, I mean, I haven't looked at, this is all from Rival. When was that even, April or something? Or that was like April or June or something? I don't even remember. Oh, it's missing. I mean, oh, part of my fender's missing. This is all tweaked. Do you need to have like Richard remake this stuff? Yeah. Oh, well. For sale. For sale. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it's fine. You know, I've bent my front dampers twice on this side. What? And once on that side. You bent them? Yeah. Because oh they're God. not inverted monotube. Protect your studs. Oh no. Tie rod. Tie rod? The car's falling apart, Gary. All right, so what are we doing? You tell me. We're taking off these bouncy boys. What we have here are some 12-year-old Megan coilovers with uh, 12K Swift Springs. We're gonna change that today. I ordered uh, some new bouncy boys from Toge Factory. Uh, they hooked up pretty, pretty well with the custom valved and sprung setup. Let's open these guys up and see what, what they sent me. Oh great, more boxes. Ooh. It's like Christmas came early. So we've got some stance, some things with some kind of something. I have no idea what the spring rates are, but look at this. Whoa, what is that? Pretty cool. So the guys at Toyota Factory, I just asked Nick and Dave, hey, uh, you know what I do? I park, I show up to the drift event, two hours late, I miss the driver's meeting. I sit in the pits for most of the day, and at the end of the day, I'll just drive into somebody when I understeer. Nick mentioned something about D1 spec. I don't know if that's the damping. I don't know if that's the spring rate. I have no idea. I just want to drive. See what we got. We have some inverted 
didgeridoos, some springy doodads, some laser majiggies, some va valve mo moteggies. What else we got? Some cool stickers. Thanks to Nick and Dave at Toge Factory for looking us up with these badass dance coilovers. Hey Teddy, can you grab uh, the 17 for me? 17? Yeah. Uh, 17. This one? You did good, Teddy. Ah, wait, was that one? How convenient, right? Well, why didn't you say that? What are you guys doing? Chuck! It's so loud! You know how girls wear uh, Uggs in the autumn? Apparently we wear flags. That's right. Bro life. That's our basic. Thanks, it goes with my truck. <laughs> That's all you guys have done? Well... What have you guys been doing? You guys have been here since the sun has been up. Oh, the we sun's <laughs> setting. What have you guys been doing? We had to do the, uh, the thumbnail photo. How long does that take? Apparently it took hours. Why? Couldn't get the lighting right. You Teddy. couldn't get the lighting right. The Thumbnails sun was up. The most important part of the whole video. Not even tight. <laughs> Adjustable suspension. Hey, check this out. Though. Look at this. Look at the difference. There's thread here. What the heck? Wait. Oh my God. They were that different? Yeah, they look a couple much longer. This one. I think these new stance ones will be a noticeable difference for you. <laughs> Hitting things. Yeah, stance ones will be a noticeable difference for you. Why'd you invite him? I didn't. You didn't. invited me. Sure. I did not. Yes, you did. You want to see the text? No, I don't. Use the text. No, no one needs to see that. That's what I thought. <laughs> what an idiot. What an idiot. When I measured it, my old one, I was at 12 inches to the top hole. This is almost 14. Oh, that's... I think you should probably match it. I wonder if Nick's gonna watch this and be like, God, what an idiot. Idiots. I had him set at a certain height. Idiot. He's lowering it. Cool. I mean. I think my 14 mil gun is over there, Chuck, on the ground. Teddy, come get it. I'm busy. You're busy? Yeah, look at me. When I'm, are you ever busy? I'm holding the camera. Okay, I just it's funny that Gary knew to ask me and not you because he knew you were going to do shit. Because he knew I was busy and you're just on your phone. Busy doing what? Busy filming the video that's for everybody to watch. But he needed your help. Yeah, but I, I'm very, you're just on your phone. Yeah, exactly. Mode in. Here, give this to Gary. Hands, give this to Gary! My hands are full. Yeah. Here, Tim, zap that real quick. What? He doesn't know how to use that. Don't do that. He's gonna strip it. It doesn't have to be super quick. 
Oh my god, this is the wrong size. Oh, you got the wrong gun. This is a smaller gun. 17. 17 you can't do anything. Up. You can't do anything. Works. Look at it. Oh my god. Look at it. Oh no. That's not amazing. That's, that's it not amazing. It works. Amazing. What an idiot. The dogs gonna go deaf. What's up, Ruben? Are you painting it with a little paintbrush? Oh yeah, yeah. Arts and crafts. Nice. No man, this is caring for your nuts and bolts. Always gotta care for your nuts. Let's check the fitment. Oh. oh I don't have a fender. I, no. I guess it fits. What the what? What's up guys? What is going on? <laughs> Why are you always you, riding up on a bike? Did you yeah. ride that here? Yeah. It's scary, but I did it. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up? Done. Done. Nice. Let's go drive the car around the block just to just check the front. Yeah. The fronts are done. All right, cool. Let's uh, do the rear. Yeah, it's getting kind of dark outside, though. Let me get the lights. All right. Much better. There you go. I mean, that's good that my clothes are not even. Nothing's tight. Shavings. Oh wow. Oval. Not even tapered. The tapers all jacked up.
Not enough? No, we need more. Because the caliper mount is 14 millimeters. I forgot already. Actually, that is isn't it. All right. Man, do I even have black? Don't worry, Teddy. I'll take care of the nut and bolt chick this time. Alright, perfect. How should we measure this? 18 and a quarter. 19 and a half. I mean, I would say as long as you make both sides even, right? Which side goes towards the spindle? I have no idea. Let's look this up. Oh, this is probably good information. It's probably important. Give me a couple pumps on the jack over there. How's that? Um, another pump.